Available in center part inside part styles. Oh, hi. <laughs> she wants to show you this. What's up, Court Crew, and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Courtney Janine, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is yet another wig review. I'm super excited because today I'm going to be reviewing the new Outre Melted Hairline Unit in the style Kehlani. So today we are going to be reviewing Outre Kehlani. I am excited because you guys know that the Melted Hairline Collection is one of my favorite synthetic wig collections, period. So, so super excited that they are coming out with another new unit from this collection. Before we get into today's video, if this is your first time seeing me here on the YT, hey girl, hey. My name is Courtney Janine. I do beauty, fashion, hair here on this channel, but I also have a lifestyle channel that I just started called Keeping Up With Courtney, where I will be doing vlogs, um, challenge videos, mukbangs, routines, like hygiene routines, morning routine, night routine. So if you're interested in that, then definitely subscribe. I will have it linked in the cards above. I will have it in the description box and I will also have it in my pinned comment. So definitely check it out and subscribe to this channel as well. No matter which channel, you're still a part of the Court Crew. Okay, period. So definitely subscribe. Join the Core Crew family. And let's get into today's video. So you guys, today's unit is Outre Melted Hairline Kehlani. Before we open her up, I do just want to give you guys a brief description of the Melted Hairline Collection. I want you all to know what to expect from these units. The Melted Hairline focuses on a true frontal effect to make it easier and faster for us to install and wear a wig. It mimics the look of real hair grown from the scalp and they redesigned the cap construction with a comfort fit ear contour similar to eyeglass legs. Now you can style your hair behind your ears and the cap comfortably hugs your ears without it pressing down on them. Now the key features, super natural hairline for a frontal illusion, pre-attached wide elastic band for a secure fit, and available in center part inside part styles. Oh, hi. She wants to show you this. All right, so that is a brief overview of the collection. Now let's get into this specific style. So this is Kaylani. She's 12 inches. She is a perm yakky texture with soft curls. This unit comes in a number of specialty colors. 1, 1B, 2, 613. Ginger brown, chocolate swirl, brown sugar melt, golden honey blonde, honey brown, DRFF red velvet. So there's a number of colors to choose from. I actually just feel like since it, it was a perm yakky, texture only 12 inches I felt like I just wanted to do it in a natural color so I did pick it up in a number two but this unit is offered in some of my favorite colors like chocolate swirl brown sugar melt I love honey brown and I love ginger brown so this unit does come in a number of specialty colors that I really do like but I did go with a number two today so let's go ahead and open her up super excited are right, you guys so this is the unit straight out the pack super duper pretty the cap construction it comes with a adjustable strap a comb in the back an elastic band and a comb on each side so let me show you guys the inside of this cap this is what it looks like the elastic band i hope you guys can see is like right here near the parting space so it's a little weird but let's try her on Ooh. You guys so this is the unit straight up the pack i have some thoughts so let's go ahead and get into it so the pre pluckness is definitely there i think i'm going to pluck it a little bit more just so that it looks extremely natural when i install her i really like the length you guys know that i love when a unit looks natural and it's not too long this is a little bit shorter than what i would typically go for but still really really pretty now the texture it did say perm yaki and that is such a great description of it because it's not super yakky but um it's also not silky but i can tell that it has texture but it's a soft yeah it's like i can tell that it's like permed hair you know i don't know if that makes sense but it definitely has a lot of texture to it but it is you know silky like a perm but not all the way through so soft perm yakky <laughs> but this is really really pretty um we have a lot of baby hairs i don't know what i'm gonna do with all of them but it's definitely a lot of baby hairs i could probably just push them back because they're so long um so yeah let's just push them back a little bit 
in the meantime so this is what it's looking like the lace looks really really good it's kind of blending in with my scalp already which i love it is the bang is on the left side of my face so this is a right side part you can see a lot of layers in this hair i feel like the stock card and even the video that was on outtrays um youtube made this look a little bit more yakky than it is so i'm glad that i tried her she's a lot she's very pretty definitely perfect for work wig and things like that i'm gonna give you guys a full 360 and then i'm gonna go pluck her and then i'm gonna install her this is the hair to the front <laughs> look of Miss Outre Melted Hairline Kehlani. I believe that's how you say it, girl. <laughs> I'm gonna need Outre to do like when they do their um videos on their YouTube. I would love if they would actually say the name of it. We know how to dis um how to say the name because world. I don't be knowing what this be saying, but um but I hope it's Kalani, um Kalani or Kalani. It's either or. But this is the completed look, you guys. I absolutely love this wig. I do. I have some thoughts. I won't say I absolutely love it, but I do like this wig. I have some thoughts. Cons first. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this is an awkward length. It kind of it does. It's not as bad as Bobby Boss Kelly that I recently reviewed. That was actually the first that I reviewed in 2023. It's not as bad as that, but I do think that this has a little bit of awkward length. I think what it could have made it a little bit better if this side had as much body and volume and layers as this side. I think it wouldn't look as bad, or I wouldn't feel like it um, was an awkward length. But I do just because this side is it doesn't have as much body and layers so it just feels like this side is awkward but anyways pros i think that i was a big catfish but in a good way like i feel like you would probably see this kaylani unit i don't need it but looking at it on me and just like trying it out i definitely really do like this wig and i think that it's perfect for every day the texture is so unique i know i mentioned this before but it is a perm yakky so it's not it's not yakky it's not silky it's right in the middle i don't know like it's silky but you can definitely tell that it has some texture to it and even the overall style of this unit just gives like 90s blowout or like a perm sort of look or a silk press sort of style so i really do like that about this unit 
it. It's so natural looking and I think that I really made a smart decision for getting it in a natural color compared to like the other ones that this unit came in. Now, um, other pros, I really like, I said the style. I like this side, especially because it has a lot of layers. Um, I love the texture of this unit. I didn't even mention this, but this is completely glueless and I think it's because of the lace. One, I really liked how like, there was a time when the muzzle hairline units, the lace that you had to cut off was so long, like it would go over your eyes. This was very nice. Also feel like it had a bit of a tint to it. You might've noticed when I was showing you guys how I prepped my synthetic wigs before install. It had a little tint to it, which I think was perfect because honestly, I did not have to apply any product to this um, unit. I did go in with a little bit of bronzer just around my hairline because I like to have bronzer. Uh, so it got on the lace a little bit, but other than that, I did not tint this lace at all. I also really like pre plucked I know I showed you guys how I prep my synthetic units for install, so that includes plucking, but I feel like before I even went in with my tweezers, I feel like it had a little bit of pre pluckness more than I saw when I did the initial try on. So, and I hope that this is just the beginning you know what I said like before I feel like um, having these improvements across the melted hairline would be so nice if like the lace was melting before even having to put products on it like the fact that this is completely glueless is insane to me like I have never done that and I wish I filmed it but honestly you guys I was looking at the unit and I was like let me just throw it on I threw it on before I did my makeup and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have to really glue this down. Like I literally just threw it on, started doing my makeup and went on with my day. So I'm really impressed with the lace on this unit. All in all, you guys, I think that this is a perfect unit for everyday wear, perfect for work wear. Um, and the fact that it's a perm yakky, it's on the silky side of yak, but I feel like it would probably last longer than just a traditional silky unit. So I love that about this unit. Overall style of the unit, even though I feel like this side could have got a little bit more layers. And of course you can cut it yourself if you would like. But I think that this is gorgeous. Let me know your thoughts on this unit. If you feel like it looks like the stock card or if you do not, let's check. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.